Hello friends, this video on determinant part 29 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 28. To solve this equation, so we have these values. Here we need not only find whether the system is consistent or not, we have to actually solve them. So what we can do here is, first we can write this equation in the matrix world form. Ax is equal to b, where a will be coefficient of x5, coefficient of y2, coefficient of x7 and y coefficient of x, y3 into xy is equal to 4, 5. So once I am done with this, the next is I have to check whether system has solution or not. To do that I have to find determinant of a, that is nothing but 5 into 3 minus 7 into 2. There is 15 minus 14 and that is 1 and that is not equal to 0. So my conclusion is determinant of A is not equal to 0. So A is non-singular. Since A is non-singular, system is consistent. Since system is consistent, I can find the solution. The solution is a inverse is nothing but 1 by determinant A into A D J A. This is A inverse. And why do we need A inverse? Because we know the solution is X is nothing but A inverse B. This equation we know. So and we are trying to find A inverse. A inverse is nothing but 1 by a determinant in into adjoint of a. So for that we have to find adjoint of a first. And for adjoint of a we have to find all the cofactors. So let's write all the cofactors a11, a12, a13, sorry a21 and a22 because it is 2 cross 2. a11 will be you select this guy you cut this you get 3 so minus 1 to the power 2 into 3 a12 you select this guy cut this row cut this column you get 7 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 3 into 7 a21 will be you select this guy cut this guy cut this guy you get 2 so minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 3 into 2 and a22 you select this guy Cut this row, cut this column, you get 5. So minus 1 to the power 4 into 5. This is 3, this is minus 7, this is minus 2 and this is 5. So I can say that with this I can say my adjoint of A matrix will be 3. Then I have A12 here minus 7, A21 here minus 2 and 5. So if you are having difficulty in uh, understanding this how I found this adjoint of A, you can see the previous examples of the same chapter where uh, we have found adjoint of A, we have explained clearly how to find adjoint of A. So I am assuming you have watched those videos, so I am going a little fast here. So I, I have adjoint of A. Now, now I have to find X. X is nothing but A inverse B and A inverse is nothing but 1 by adjoint of 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A into B. Now I have all the values, let's put it. 1 by determinant of A is 1 by 1 because determinant I got 1. Into adjoint of A is 3 minus 7 minus 2 5 minus 2 5. This is my adjoint of A. And then we have B. What is B? B is this guy because AX is equal to B is this representation. This is A, this is X, this is B, this is 4, 5. So we have to solve this guy. So this guy is nothing but take the horizontal row and column. So this guy becomes 3 into 4, 12 minus 2 into 5, that is plus of minus 10. Similarly, we will take this row now. Minus 7 into 4 is minus 28. 5 into 5 is 25 plus 25. This guy is nothing but 2 and minus 3. So what I am saying x, x is nothing but this guy matrix xy. 
So x, y is 2 and minus 3. So I can say x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. And that is my answer. So what I have done here? I just converted this form of equation into matrix form of equation. So once I have matrix form of equation, what I have done is I check the consistency of this equation by finding determinant of A. I found determinant of A came out to be 1 that is non-zero. So I told it is non-singular and thus it is consistent. Then I knew x is nothing but A inverse B and we knew A inverse is nothing but 1 by A determinant into adjoint of A. I know 1 by A determinant but I don't know adjoint of A. To find adjoint of A you need to find all the cofactors. I found cofactors and then I found adjoint of A. Once I have adjoint of A, then I can use the formula x is nothing but A inverse B. A inverse is 1 by A determinant into adjoint of A into B. Put everything, multiply this. See here also if you see this is 2 cross 2 and this is how much? 2 cross 1. So if you multiply this, this common part gone, you get 2 cross 1 as a matrix and that's why we are getting. So if you are having issue in multiplication of this matrix, please watch the matrix video, uh, a video just before this chapter. And thus we multiplied and we got 2 and minus 3 matrix here and this is equal to xy matrix. Compare this two matrix using equality of matrix and found x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 3. Let's take one more example. Similar example but here we have uh, three equations. Here also we have to follow the same approach, alternative approach. We have to convert this equation into matrix form ax is equal to b and then we have to check whether a is singular or not because uh, that is very much required. So if a is singular we say it's consistent and then we have to write the equation x is equal to a inverse b correct and a inverse is nothing but 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a into b. This is my value of x. So I have to find this value and that is equal to x. So let's do this convert into ax is equal to b form. Coefficient of x is 2 here in the first equation for y it is 3 and for z it is 3. Similarly for second equation coefficient of x is 1, y is minus 2 and z is 1. Here the coefficient of x is 3, y is minus 1 and z is minus 2. This multiplied by x, x will have x, y, z now. Why z? Because there are three variables x, y and z. In my early example it was it had only two variables x and y so we took x as x and y but now we have three variables x y and z so i took x y and z is equal to b b will have 5 minus 4 and 3 so this is my matrix form of equation the first thing is find determinant of a this comes out to be 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 4 1 into minus 1 is minus 1, 4 minus minus 1, minus 3 into y minus 3 because here i plus j is odd, minus 3 into 1 into minus 2 is minus 2, minus 3 into 1 is 3, plus 3 into 1 into minus 1, this guy is minus 1, and 3 into minus 2 is minus 6, minus minus 6. This is what we get. So if you solve this, you is nothing but 2 into 5, that is 10, 10, 3 into minus 5, min, that is minus 15. So plus 15 because minus minus become plus. And this is nothing but 1 plus 6, 7, 7 into 3 is. 21. Correct? That's how it is. So it comes out to be 25, 35, 46. And it is not 0. I think I made a calculation mistake here. 1 plus 6, minus 1 plus 6 is 5. 5 into 3 is 15. This guy should be 15 here. 15 plus 15 30, 30 plus 10 40. So this is 40 actually. 
and that still is not equal to zero. So determinant of a is not equal to zero, so it is singular and it has consistent solution. Now since it is singular and it has consistent solution, what I can do is I can find the value of x will be nothing but as per equation 1 by determinant a into adjoint of a into b. So I know determinant a, I know b but I don't know adjoint of a. So let's find adjoint of a. So to find adjoint of a I have to find all the variables. I have to find all the cofactors. That's a lengthy thing. I won't do it for you now because there is a video on that. You can watch that video and find adjoint of a. Here directly I write adjoint of a that will come out. This guy will be 5, 5, 5, 3, minus 13, 11, 9, 1, minus 7. So this will be adjoint of a. You can find this. You can find all the cofactors a11, a12, a21 like that and then you can write in this fashion get adjoint of a. So if you are having any difficulty in this watch the previous video the same chapter there we have explained how to find adjoint of a. So once I have adjoint of a I know my formula. a inverse is nothing but 1 by determinant of a adjoint of a into b. So let me write this here sorry x x is nothing but this guy is a inverse into b. So here x matrix that is x, y, z this guy matrix will be nothing but 1 by determinant of a that is 40 into this matrix adjoint of a 5, 5, 5, 3 minus 13, 11, 9, 1 and minus 7. So this is what I have got into b. What is b? 5 minus 4 and 3. You see this is ax is equal to b and this is b here. 5 minus 4 and 3. This matrix is my b matrix. So now I have to just multiply these two guys. So if I multiply these two guys what I get is 1 by 40 into 40 80 and minus 4. This multiplication also I am not doing because we have done this multiplication in the matrix chapter. We have to take this row, take this column, correct? So this is 3 cross 3 and this is 3 cross 1. Tail of this, head of this matches and the final output will be 3 cross 1. So you get this as output and this is nothing but 1, 2 and minus 1. Thus I got x, y, z matrix as 1, 2, minus 1. Comparing these two matrix, I get x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to minus 1. And that is my answer. So what I have done, I have solved this equation using determinant and matrix. I have just converted this equation into a matrix equation and then use the formula x is nothing but a inverse b found the inverse, multiply the b and I got x to be a matrix 1, 2 and minus 1. Let's take one more example. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.